a bowl full of goodness, berries and apples and mango. So the berries are raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and then... Hope you're having an awesome day. It's so awesome, in fact, that you're doing great things with your hair to help your hair to grow, which also includes having good health habits. And so, as promised, I told you in my previous Shea Bay video that I ingest moringa in my shakes and smoothies, not in the liquid form, but in the powder form. So I bought Moringa on Amazon and then I just put it in this container. I like to reuse my containers. So I have a lot of stuff here. So I have the Moringa, Moringa powder, bladder whack, and I'll put down in the description box what all these are good for. And mostly the shake, it's really great for the immune system. And I was doing some research, and believe it or not, a lot of these things, they, the research says, prevents cancer. I'm just doing it to lose weight and to be healthy. And so to prevent cancer and boost the immune system, those are perks, really. And then I have also Nopal. And I have my super greens. And I can't remember if I showed you my iris moss. Also bought that on Amazon. And then I have a bowl full of goodness. Berries and apples and mango. So the berries are raspberries, blackberries, blueberries. And then I've got a frozen kiwi in here too. Yes, I freeze my kiwi. Because if I go to Costco and I get the big pack, then I don't eat it all at once, then I just freeze it to preserve it and then throw it in my shakes. So a lot of this goodness, <laughs> a lot of this goodness in this bowl, full of vitamin C and uh, boosts your uh, immune system. So I have mango in here too, uh, but mango is really good in vitamin C as well. and. Uh, I'll again oh and then I have a strawberry <laughs> so uh, also rich in vitamin C and I found out that apples are rich in iron all right and then I've got oh also in this bowl you can't see but I've got kale as well and kale is really good with strengthening your hair and then I've got spinach as well again I'm gonna put all this information down in the box just packed full of vitamins and nutrients that's gonna go in the shake last but not least flax guys awesome so flax is uh, really good too is really and this is a really smooth uh, flax I actually have a little clip on my Instagram page about this flax and where to get it it's super awesome best flax I've ever had it's not chunky it's not big it's really really smooth so it really works well in your shakes and you can even put it in your uh, your um, cereals if you eat oatmeal and it's not you won't be crunching right biting down on if you're a textures person it's just really really smooth and what else oh you can put it in your yogurt as well so flax of course is really rich in omega-3 which is also good for your hair okay so i'm gonna stop talking and go ahead and put this stuff in here so if you're wondering how my shake's gonna turn out because of all this stuff i'm putting in it really the most i'm gonna put is two tablespoons of flax and probably just a teaspoon of everything else all right and last but not least i've got my water and first what you do so that your shake uh, isn't clumpy is you put in the greens first 
so I'm going to go ahead and put in a handful of spinach, and then I'm going to put all my water. Well, actually, no, I'm only going to put a half, just in case. So I'm only going to put half, just in case it gets thick after I put the veggies, and then I have to, uh, veggies and fruit, and then I have to add a little bit more. Okay, so while I'm blending this with my Vitamix, it's good a good time to make sure everything is opened and ready to put in through the top. Oh, I'm not sure if I showed you my amla powder. I also put amla. Of course, you know amla is an Ayurvedic. Well, it's gooseberries. Um, I really want to try the juice one of these days. To figure out where to buy that. But uh, gooseberries used in the Indian culture is really good for your hair as well. It's a strengthening tool for your hair. Okay, I think I have everything open. I'm gonna start blending. it's on a timer really I have it on my smoothie setting so as you notice I have a lot of stuff that I put in my shakes you don't have to put everything in your shake in one day you can alternate days as well especially if you're trying to get used to the taste Sometimes I want a little bit of more sweetness to my shakes and so I don't add sugar I add a little bit of stevia if you have stevia packets you can put one packet in so I put a little bit of stevia and if you like blue agave you can put that in there too but you don't have to you can put honey five six seven eight nine ten you can put honey or anything you want as a sweetener. The other thing I wanted to mention is this Vitamix. They can be expensive, especially if they have some of the bells and whistles. This is actually the first Vitamix I've ever had. My in-laws have a Vitamix, which doesn't have the bells and whistles, but it's still a really good blender. They got it at a garage sale. Really? <laughs> this one we got at Costco, but you can shop around. Maybe Amazon has a cheaper, less expensive but it's really, really powerful and I really, really love it. Okay, now it's done. And this is what I'm gonna be drinking all day long. It has all the nutrients that I need. It's not too thick. Let's see what it looks like when I pour it out. Look at that green goodness. Okay, now let's taste it. Okay, I washed this one. Okay, this is my Mega Straw. For some reason, I like drinking my shakes with the Mega Straw. Okay, so one thing I didn't do is I didn't add my protein shake. <laughs> You're probably like, you added enough stuff already. So uh, you can add your protein shake, your protein, uh, a scoop of your protein if you want. Uh, it's optional. 
and I think this is thick enough, but, um, okay, I guess I should taste this. not too sweet so here's the trick with the the blue agave so what I do is I go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten not squeezing the bottle uh, forcefully but just lightly squeezing it and it's perfect because I don't like things that are too sweet and it's just absolutely perfect so if you have any suggestions any recommendations and any uh, any comments about what you do to keep healthy over the winter and it's actually worked for you and you haven't gotten sick just comment below I'm really interested to hear about it all right till next time guys bye